series of uh, conversation with AV boot campers. We are delighted to have Mayang with us today. So uh, let's understand his journey into data science and beyond. So hi Mayang, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks, thanks for doing this candid conversation with us. Yeah, How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Uh, I'm completely fine and looking forward to know more about your journey and uh, your uh, life as well. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to bore you with you know typical questions. So let's just start this conversation with some fun questions. Okay. Uh, so can you please describe yourself in one word? Uh, one word? I would say curious. Okay, I will use the word curious. Uh, a one word or phrase you know that comes to your mind when you hear when I say the word data science. Okay, so when the word data science comes, uh, what I think is a manipulation and use f- f- uh, f- of extracting in- uh, insightful extracting data. Insights from data. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you had to create you know a slogan or a hashtag for the, our bootcamp, okay. what would it be? Uh, I would say put in the hard work or get the boot. <laughs> that's, that's really interesting. And uh, how would you, you know, change the world with data science if given a chance? I'm not sure, but I think data science is a it's a pretty perfect work word and describes the work pretty decently. Okay, yeah. that was really fun. Thanks for being so spontaneous. Uh, now, Mayan, can you please introduce yourself to, uh, to our audience? You know. Uh, a little uh, something about your background, your education, family, etc. Yeah, so I'm Mayank Khatri, I'm 21 years old and I did my mechanical engineering in PES University, Bangalore. I completed the course in 2021 and after that I searched for jobs in the data science field for around 2-3 months and after, after not getting any uh, valuable, uh, valuable opportunities from that, I decided to explore some other opportunities, and that's then when I, that's when I came to know about the data science. So awesome! So you, so you know, from mechanical engineering to you know data science, okay. you made a you know pretty big leap and a pretty big switch. Yeah. Exactly. So were you interested in data science since forever, or how does your you know interest in data science? Uh, I was, I had a little bit of exposure of programming and other statistics, okay. but. Mainly, I came to know about data science in my third year throughout uh, from my friends, okay. and then I started reading some articles and blogs of the same. And slowly and slowly, I got into this field, and I really liked it and wanted to make a career out of it. Okay, that's that's interesting. So, my, uh, you know, uh, would you like to share any specific challenges that you face while looking out for resources on uh, data science online? And provided the fact that the offline world of education was suspended due to COVID, I guess. Yeah. So, why, did you face any difficulty in that sort of? Yeah, the main difficulty I had that was lack of practical experience okay. or practical projects. I knew theoretically about this field but I didn't have any real hands-on experience. Okay. So that's why I think I didn't get any opportunities from the companies. So you know, how did you, uh, you know, exactly came across uh, this yeah. analytics with the Yeah, I just started reading uh, blogs from this analytics with them. Okay. And they have a very insightful and resourceful wall of data science blogs. Okay. From there, I came to know about this company and slowly and slowly, my wall kept on filling with the Analytics with their blogs, and then I, then someday a boot camp popped up. Okay. An advertisement for the boot camp. Okay. So you are an avid AV blog leader. Yeah. That's interesting. So uh, my like you must have compared you know other resources or other programs available in the market with our boot camp as well. So you know how, what do you think you know uh, this program has an edge over others. Yeah, actually this was the part that took me a lot of time to decide. Okay. So I uh, I contacted various uh, these providers of this course and then after comparing what the key difference I found between this bootcamp and the others was the immersive learning experience, lots of industry standard projects and, and uh, industry experts mentoring me throughout the course. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Now, as you mentioned about the projects, yeah. so like you must have worked upon uh, various projects yes. during this program. So yes. which one project do you think was the most interesting one? Uh, I started from the basics, 
like I did web scraping uh, and then data data analysis. But the most exciting one for me was that when we I had to predict the future sales of a company and okay. build a machine learning model for it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know, uh, my uh, a program that claims a uh, job guarantee. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is a program that claims a job guarantee. So, what were your initial thoughts when you you know first uh, heard about this? Yeah. When I came to know about this job opportunity, uh, this job guarantee program. So there are other programs also available from different uh, websites okay. that they, uh, that also claim to okay. be job guaranteed. So when I came to know about analytics with them i contacted them and had a pretty decent and deep conversation with them and after that i found this to be better so are you satisfied now with this program yeah i totally am completely satisfied okay now uh, like my if you talk about you know um, your batches your bootcamp batch so how does uh, studying with a group of people you know who are, who are on the same level with like yours like okay. they were you know either transitioning into data science or were the beginners in data science yeah so how does that help in your uh, journey bootcamp journey so actually the batches were created so that there wasn't much knowledge or experience gap between the students so the mentor was able to address the common common doubts right. or common misconceptions among us okay so you know were you given like group projects or something were you actually do that i uh, know all the projects were individual individual yeah okay and did you meet any friends yeah the yeah i made a few of, few of the friends from the boot camp Okay, and, and as you mentioned about your mentor session, uh, sessions and yeah. trainings, do you have any particular favorite trainer or mentor? Yeah, I would say that uh, Subhash sir was my favorite. Okay, Subhash. Yeah, okay. that's that's interesting. Uh, and apart during this pro- uh, program, uh, you know, as you said, the uh, if we talk about the practical application of data science, okay. you know. Uh, we can see like uh, from uh, face reduction in our phones to recommendation systems to various things in our da- daily day to day lives yeah. so which particular application of data science excites you the most or amazes you the most like this can also be done with the help of machine learning or data science yes yeah. uh, what the ma- major thing that i no- noticed about this data science field that uh, that the ad recommendations in different yeah. websites I I knew about this from a long time but I didn't know about what was the basic reason behind those. So after joining this uh, field now I know how this all works. Okay that that's interesting. And if you given a chance what would you know what would what would you look like to create in future with the help of machine learning or data science? Okay so what I would like to use machine learning in is the medical field okay. because a lot of me a we can say about cancer that most of the cancer casualties happen because the the disease itself gets diagnosed very late right. until it has already proceeded to a very advanced levels okay that's that's very nice uh, and uh, one more thing uh, maya like uh, how likely are you to recommend this course to uh, this program to others yeah i would say they are 10 out of 10 because not the, not only it is beginner friendly okay. but also it has some very advanced concepts which we can proceed towards slowly so it is not an overwhelming project or the boot camp but still if we put in the work we can go from beginner to advanced and you know from a fresher's perspective how does this course of you know 6 to 7 month do you think is this time period sufficient for learning data science yeah actually before joining this boot camp i had almost zero experience in this field okay. so i i was in self doubt of a few starting weeks after the joining this but then slowly and slowly after doing projects and assignments and doubt sessions i got some self confidence that yes i can make something of out of it that's very interesting so uh, my what uh, another thing i would like to ask you is uh, like any tips or a piece of advice would you like to give to all the people interested in data science but you know are confused right now yeah what i would like to suggest them from my personal experience yeah. is to actually do something about it what the problem with was with me that i just re- kept on reading articles and waiting for the opportunity to come okay what i would uh, like the new joiners to do is that try 
try to get try to build a door for the opportunity and not just wait for it okay so uh, and one more thing uh, ma'am like uh, if i see your journey i can divide it into two parts part one before the boot camp okay. and part two after the boot camp you know okay. so from mechanical engineering background to uh, analyst at tiger analytics yeah. that's a pretty big leap yeah. so what do you have to say about that okay so before this course i couldn't imagine myself as an as an analyst in a reputed company because all my experience prior experience was totally unrelated to this data science but still this 6 months of immersive experience has slowly transitioned me into a, an efficient analyst that's it thanks mayam for doing this interview with us that's yeah. all that's thank all you for having me